Hi, I'm Matt with Trailer, and today we're talking the P-Wag tire chains with square links on them on our 2023 Ford F-150. And we're going to have this on tire size 245-70R17, and we're going to have this on the rear axle as what the manual recommends. This is going to be able to fit a range of different tire sizes. We just have it on the tire size we have today. But if you're worried about if this will fit or won't fit, you can just plug in your vehicle's information into our fit guide to make sure this is going to be the correct fit for you. So let's check it out. These are going to be a great set of chains for you if you're looking for something that's going to get you through a lot more extreme conditions. And the reason that's going to be is because we have these square links at the top. Those square links are designed to help you bite through ice and snow. And we have these grooves along them. And what those grooves are going to do is assist with that too. They're going to be made of a nickel alloy, so they're going to be very weather resistant. So they're going to last you a lot longer than any of your other standard chains. We're also going to have this ladder pattern design to them. What that ladder pattern design is designed to do is help you when stopping and starting. And in the center at the bottom, we'll notice we have this lever. And you're going to get a lot of your slack out using this lever right here. What I do recommend though is investing in a rubber tensioner because when you do drive, this will loosen up just a little bit and your chains won't be as tight as they should be. So a rubber tensioner is going to help take out all that slack we have. The chains are going to come in a set of two in this pretty light duty bag. So when you have these in here and you're using it a few times, this bag is probably going to degrade with over time. That's because, like I said, these are some pretty heavy duty chains. They're gonna to start to tear through that bag, especially if they're still slightly damp when you put them in here. So what I recommend is just putting them in a small tote instead or investing in a small tote to keep your chain stored. Now, overall, these are going to be a great set of chains like I was talking about earlier. If you are trying to go through those more extreme conditions with either really deep snow or thicker ice. Now, it doesn't have any cam tensioners on it. And if that's an issue for you, we do have some of these that have cam tensioners on them as well. And if the square links are a little bit too rough for your liking, maybe you're more using it for moderate conditions, I'd recommend twist links instead too. We have plenty of options on our website, but if you really like these ones and you're curious about how they go on, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through the process. To start off the installation, I recommend grabbing some gloves, make it a lot easier. And if you are doing it for the first time, I recommend staying home, putting them on because it's gonna be a lot more difficult to try to get these on on the side of the road in the middle of a blizzard. But when you're looking these over, the two things we're looking for is if there's any damages to our links, anything looks out of the ordinary, and if this is in the right orientation. So the first thing you want to look for is if these hooks are facing up, so it's away from your tire so they don't puncture it. And on the other side, we want to make sure we have access to this lever, and this is going to be furthest away from your tire. If that looks good, we can start putting them on. What I like to do is just grab them from the center, Lift up and drape them over. Recommend when you do put this over, just grab it from one side so it doesn't drag across your rim, scratch anything up, and spread them out. What we're looking for is for an even fit so it's not hanging down too low on one side, it's just centered on your tire. And these chains at the bottom are going to be easy to grab so we can make our connections on the front and back. Speaking of that connection on the back, all we have to do to do that is grab this metal hook and run it through one of these links that are hanging off on the side. And when you are doing this, I recommend trying this a few different times because if you tighten this too much on the back side, you won't be able to get an even fit on the front and vice versa. The connection on the front is going to be a little different. We're going to run this lever through these links. We're going to apply pressure, so this is pretty tight. And you have the side with the hook. You just push a link through there. Now I'm going to have to put a little bit of body weight in this so I can make that connection. I 
But once that's attached to there, I like to give it a good tug test, make sure everything's feeling pretty tight. And at this point, I do recommend grabbing a rubber tensioner. If you don't have one, you can find one on our website. And what this is going, what this is going to do is take out a lot of that slack we get. Now we don't have a lot of slack right now, but when you're driving, some of that's going to probably build up and that's going to help tighten it as you drive. You want to make sure you put this on in a star pattern and when you put these hooks in place, you want to make sure those metal hooks are facing away from your tire so they don't puncture anything. And once you have these on, I recommend either pulling forward or backing up some to make sure everything's staying seated properly and it feels pretty tight. And if it is, that completes the installation and some of the features of the PWAG Square Link chains on our 2023 Ford F-150. Thanks for watching.